running 2018 race in such a way that he'll get the prize. Running the 2018 race in such a way that you will win the prize. That is what I want to speak about. And I will speak on three important things you need. So this message is very important for 2018. There are three things here. And if you heed to them, 2018 will make a difference in your life. So I'm speaking about running the race of 2018 in such a way as to get the prize. Why is Paul saying so? Because he says, do you not know that in a race all the runners run? All people will be running the race of 2018 just as everybody runs the race, the race of life. All of us are running. So Paul is not disputing that you are not running. And in this case, the issue of interest is not people running. Because to him, there is no discussion of somebody is running or not running. And that applies to the race of life. All of us, when you were born, you went, you started to run the race of life. That is important. So even somebody who is not here and somebody who has not followed up the December teachings about setting goals, they will all be running a race of life. But then Paul says, it's not enough to run the race. He says, run in such a way as you get the prize. But then his interest is that you run in such a way that you get the prize. In other words, he's saying, run and run so that 2018 becomes optimized. You get rewards out of 2018. You get results out of 2018. You get achievement out of 2018. That's what he's saying. Now he is speaking about three important things. And I want to pray in Jesus' name that will not be part of those people who will not get the prize. Because people you run, but some people will not get the prize. So number one, he says, for you to get the reward out of the race he talks about strict training so number one is training if you are going to win any race and get a reward you must embrace training this is very very important One of the things I'm trying to do in, in GCC is to change a traditional approach to Pentecostal Christianity where people just pray. You know, you are praying God to learn to drive a car. You are believing God to, to get, a, a, I mean, to get a, a passport. I mean, it's so, but all these things have practical demands. For example, somebody who has not set goals for 2018 and comes over the cash and then we get there and then hyped so much and shouting everything, there's nothing that Kesha will change that person. Nothing at all. As a continent, we don't embrace training. We don't embrace training. That is why if you have a digital camera or you have an iPad like there are some of the people here, if you want somebody to take a photo, everybody believes you'll take a photo. And that is what really shocks me and embarrasses me most of the times. You go somewhere and then you ask people who, will, who knows how to take a photo. But because the iPad is there, somebody is, everybody knows how to do it. 
lakini akipiga unakuta amekata kichwa amekata miguu ame, because they don't believe that to do anything you have to be trained so if you are going to run the race of life and particularly the race 19 uh, for 2018 you must embrace training seize opportunities of training in GCC if you believe it say amen the couples who are here will have many couples seminars attend i mean you are too busy you can't attend a seminar for couples but what you want is on sunday for pastor to call an altar call and you come and you be prayed for because your marriage is in trouble that's let me tell you that's a deception if your marriage will work you need a lot of training about that institution called marriage So if somebody is going to win a prize in 2018 you must fight the mentality that shows you that you can do everything just by prayer. And that applies to everybody technical team the instrumentalists everybody. If you're going to win the race for your business you must embrace training. Training will give you knowledge training will give you skills training will give you exposure training will give you competence you'll be so competent to do those things many things you pray for don't need prayer you need knowledge those people who go according to this scripture who go for athletics athletics and they want to win the prize do they just go to in cataronia and spend their days uh, run or they come from their place they spend their time in prayer center and they take a flight to the next day speaking in tongues will they win the race will they win the race nothing at all so if 2018 you are going to get a crown you must embrace training the bible continues to say verse 26 therefore i do not run like a man running aimlessly and this is what many people do they have lived a life running aimlessly so number two, if you're going to get a prize you must focus you must focus you can't live a life which is aimless ulienda ushago ukasikia watu wanakaa wewe ulikuwa urudi 26 ukasikia makazi hizo wanasema wanakaa mpaka 29 ukakaa ukawa ukirudi hivyo ukakutana na watu ukapigiwa simu mkaenda you live an aimless life you can't achieve anything you must focus the goals you have set you must have aims goals and focus on them that is the only way you will win a reward number three, discipline There's nothing of value and sense that you will ever achieve without a life of discipline. To become the best keyboardist, you must have the discipline. That at every time of the day or of the week that you resolved, you were there learning. But this life of off and on no commitment no discipline not ready to for any hardship you want to achieve things but you want your program you don't want anything altered you want your uh, your sleeping habit to remain you want to your work culture to remain there's no discipline towards that thing there's nothing that you will achieve so for example if you've resolved you want to build